Gower Carlisle Champion was an American actor, theater director, choreographer, and dancer. Early Years Champion was born on June 22, 1919, in Geneva, Illinois, as the son of John W. Champion and Beatrice Carlisle. He was raised in Los Angeles, California, where he graduated from Fairfax High School. He studied dance from an early age and, at the age of 15, toured nightclubs with friend Jean Tyler billed as, Gower and Jean, America's youngest dance team. In 1939, Gower and Jean, danced to the music of Larry Clinton and his orchestra in a Warner Brothers and Vitaphone film short subject, The Dipsy Doodler. Career during the late 1930s and early 1940s, Champion worked on Broadway as a solo dancer and choreographer. After serving in the U.S. Coast Guard during World War II, Champion met Marjorie Belcher, who became his new partner, and the two were married in 1947. In the early 1950s, Marge and Gower Champion made seven film musicals, Mr. Music, the 1951 remake of Show Boat, 1952's Lovely to Look at, the autobiographical Everything I Have is Yours, Give a Girl a Break, Jupiter's Darling, and Three for the Show. All were made for Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer except Mr. Music and Three for the Show. Throughout the 1950s, they performed on a number of television variety shows, and in 1957 they starred in their own short-lived CBS sitcom, The Marge and Gower Champion Show, which was based on their actual career experiences. Gower and Marge Champion appeared as the mystery guests on the May 15, 1955 airing of What's My Line. Mary Healy guessed who they were. In 1948, Champion had begun to direct as well, and he won the first of eight Tony Awards for his staging of Lend an Ear, the show that introduced Carol Channing to New York City theater audiences. During the 1950s, he worked on only two Broadway musicals, choreographing Make a Wish in 1951 and directing, staging, and starring in Three for Tonight in 1955, preferring to spend most of his time in Hollywood. However, in the 1960s, he directed a number of Broadway hits that put him at the top of his profession. 1960-1964 he had a solid success in 1960 with Bye Bye Birdie, a show about an Elvis-like rock star about to be inducted into the army. The show starred relative unknowns Cheetah Rivera and Dick Van Dyke along with a youthful cast. It ran for 607 performances and won four Tony Awards, including Best Musical and two for Champions Direction and Choreography. Next came Carnival, in 1961, which ran for 719 performances and garnered seven Tony nominations, including one for Champions Direction. In 1964, Champion directed one of Broadway's biggest blockbusters, Hello, Dolly. It ran for 2,844 performances, almost seven years. Starring Carol Channing as Dolly Levi, it is perhaps best remembered for the title number, where Dolly is greeted by the staff of a restaurant after having been away for years. The show won ten Tony Awards, including Best Musical, as well as two for Champion's Direction and Choreography. 1964-1980 Champion had his fourth consecutive hit musical with I Do. I Do, in 1966. It featured a cast of two, veterans Mary Martin and Robert Preston, playing a couple scene throughout the years of their marriage. The show ran for 560 performances and received seven Tony nominations, including one for Champion's Direction. His next show, The Happy Time in 1968, broke his streak. It had a relatively disappointing run of only 286 performances. This would be followed by many more disappointments and worse. In the 1970s, Champion directed minor hits, flops and complete disasters. On top of this, he and Marge were divorced in 1973. After the failures of the previous decade, Champion was able to make a comeback with his longest-running show. In 1980, he choreographed and directed a stage adaptation of the movie classic, 42nd Street, it won the Tony for Best Musical, and Champion was nominated for his direction and choreography, winning for the latter. The show ran for 3,486 performances, but Champion did not live to see one, having died in the morning on opening day. Personal Life Champion was married in 1947 to actress Marjorie Celeste Belcher, who became famous as Marge Champion. Together, they had two sons, Blake and director Greg Champion. They divorced in January 1973. In 1976, he married Carla Russell. He also has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Death Champion was diagnosed in early 1979 with Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia, a rare form of blood cancer, from his doctors at the Scripps Institute. He began treatment at Cedars of Lebanon Hospital in Los Angeles and was advised not to take on work. Champion died at 10 a.m. on August 25, 1980, in Manhattan at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. Champion's death came only 10 hours before the opening night performance of 42nd Street, the Broadway musical he choreographed and directed. It would be his swan song, running nine years. Producer David Merrick asked Champion's family to withhold the news from everyone, including the show's cast, until after the opening performance. During the enthusiastic curtain calls, Merrick came on stage and made the announcement to the stunned cast and audience amidst the wild applause. He stated, This is a very tragic moment for me. I'm sorry to have to report that today, Gower Champion died. 